Hi there! Are you ready for the new workflow we have prepared for you? Let's go now through the tunneling one together. Let's start from an already pre-registered and reference point cloud. Reconstructor 4.2 has the ability to extract cross-sections of the tunnel thanks to the new tool tunnel cross-section and from each section you can calculate the area and the volume defining the depth that you desire. Another great tool is the inspection that allows to compare the as-built and the as-designed tunnel models, detecting the difference in 3D and sum up the results in a customizable PDF. All the extracted results, sections, point cloud, orthophotos can be exported to AutoCAD. Are you ready to experience the workflow? Let's open our Reconstructor project. Here, there's a tunnel data acquired by our Aeron portable mobile mapping system. Access to the tunneling features selecting the mining toolbox bar and, in the top toolbar, select tunnel survey and then tunnel cross sections. In the recipe window, create a new survey clicking here. The software provides different options to define the alignment of the sections that you want to extract along the tunnel survey. For example, we are going to create an alignment by points. Double click in the 3D scene on the point cloud. The points appear and they are automatically connected by a polyline that represents the alignment trajectory. Of course, you can use an existing polyline or trajectory as well. Just select the option Polyline or Trajectory in the recipe window, then select the item in the project window on your left. In the section Parameters option, you can change the alignment properties. For example, you can change the section's spacing. Let's extract a section every 30 meters. In the lower part of the recipe window, you can check if the sections properly fit to the point cloud. To better visualize the section, increase the point sites of your cloud, reachable in the property browser window. Easily jump from one section to the other and, once check, click Compute. Reconstructor will start computing across sections, orthophotos and point cloud slices, flagging the corresponding option. In the recipe window, you can decide if creating sections following the alignment or sections forced to have vertical sections. Now, let's check the result in the section viewer. We can do different measurements here. In the setting option, you can change several properties like the text size. The new volume tool allows to calculate the section volume. Just input the depth and press OK. Draw the area that you want to use to calculate the volume, and uh, here we are. You can then export directly to AutoCAD the image and the related AutoCAD script, as we will see later on. Now, let's close the section viewer and try to run an inspection analysis. The goal is comparing the as-built tunnel with the as-designed model. From this tunnel dataset, we have already isolated a little portion of the cloud to be inspected and we have already imported the S-Design mesh model that will be used as reference. Please remind that the inspection can be run with any kind of 3D models, but the reference one has to be a mesh, the investigated one a point cloud. As you can see here, the mesh is in violet color and the green one is the excavated point cloud. By the Color by ID tool, you can change the color of the models. Let's now run the inspection. Just select the point cloud and mesh you want to inspect, and then activate the inspection in the top toolbar. As you can see, we are working in the mining toolbox, so you don't have to move or search in the upper toolbox for the inspection command. All you need is already here. The mesh and the point cloud are automatically loaded in the recipe window. You can set the inspection parameters as your convenience. For example, change the minimum searching distance. Let me set here 30 cm and change also the name of the inspection. Then select the type of inspection you want to run. After computing, all the points of the cloud are displayed by a new color layer. 
In the histogram, you can check the points and their range from the S-Design model. For example, look at the yellow points. They are in the range of 10 cm from the S-Design model. And the points in blue line here are in the range of 20 cm from the S-Design model. Now, let me show you how the final result looks like. Let me take the AutoCAD window for a while. Here is the tunnel cross-section and the orthophoto of each section with the measurements and the volume. Let's go back to Reconstructor. As we have seen, the mining add-on offers a complete workflow to your deliverable from cross-sections to volume and inspection. I hope that the tunneling workflow has been useful for you. Stay tuned to discover the next one.